Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see some of the ways that you can easily enter data. At the same time, how to draw a very simple graph, which is basically a chart, because charting mechanism always helps. Seeing a picture is worth more than reading thousand words. First, let me say I want to take the last uh, 10 days of sales data or they, the, this is for a clinic or for a doctor. The doctor tracks the number of patients and the collection amount for every day. So I start with 1st July 2013. Then I say 2nd uh, July 2013. I want to enter for 15 days. In that case, I don't have to type in every cell. Once you type two sequential values in two different cells, select this cell, shift click that cell also, then these two are highlighted. You go here, the moment you move your cursor at that point, you see a plus symbol. Keep the left mouse down, drag. Drag all the way down to how many ever cells you want to fill, then leave it. See, Excel has populated the data with just drag and drop. You don't have to type all the data. Once you have got two sequential cells. From that point, all you need to do is select or highlight those cells, drag down so that Excel will automatically fill the sequential data. Now I'm just randomly giving some value, 12 patients, uh, 14, 16, uh, 23. I'm just filling some data over here. So I have populated some data. Uh, for the number of patients as well as the collection amount. What I want to do is for the days, days being the x-axis, I want to draw a graph how this patient pattern for the clinic happens over a period of time. So how to do that? I want to choose at least two sets of data. This is one set of data. This is one other set of data. I want this date on the x-axis, this number of patients on the y-axis. So what I do is I select this cell. I select this cell with shift click. So this whole thing is highlighted. So to do a graph drawing, all you need to do is there are a lot of, uh, if you see all these things, formulas, data, review, view, right? Go to insert. Go to the insert tab. You see the graphs over here. Okay. Again, there are bar charts, line charts, pie charts, uh, horizontal bar charts. Okay. So if you want, this is called a column chart. This is called a bar. This is again, both are bars. This is vertical bar. This is horizontal bar. So I want to draw a, a vertical bar chart. So highlight the series or the columns or the data cells you want to do. Then click whichever chart you want to do. I click on this chart. Now it says uh, what kind of graph you want. I want to choose at least a kind of uh, set of graphs. Now I simply say this is the graph I want. Okay. Uh, then I select that. When I select, it shows. It immediately opens the graph. By default, it shows the second axis, the second column as the y axis. By default, the leftmost column became the x-axis. Now you see 1st July, 2nd July, you could see the patients increasing or decreasing. If you want to change the color, there are quick colors. These are all some of the eye attracting colors. Suppose I want the graphs in... So by clicking on this different color, you can change the graphs color just like that. There are more options available here in terms of choosing the colors. I choose this one. It immediately changes the color. Now, you can also do one thing. If you go here and then do a right click, there are a lot of types available. Now, this is a bar chart. Now, I click on this change chart type. Then it opens up this. Then, I click on this thing. This is a 3D chart. If you click on this, immediately the chart becomes 3D. You could see the 3D effect of this. You can change the width and the height of this particular uh, graph. Also, when you do this one, he automatically changes the, the x-axis. He, he does not print all the details. 
so that it is clear and visible to every eye. The moment you mouse over on a particular bar, you could see what is the value. So it is 13th July and the value is 89. So same way, you can always go back and then change the data type. It may be a line graph also. You can simply choose a particular line graph and then click OK. It becomes a simple line graph. So even on the line graph, wherever you move your mouse, it changes, uh, it shows the tooltip with the value of the x-axis and the y-axis for easy readability of the particular chart. So this way, you can have a lot of charts and you can have them side by side. And many times, you can just go here and then click on it. If you go and then delete that, it goes. You highlight it and then delete it. If you want to change this, double click. You want a different name, you can change that. In all the things you can choose, okay, there is a, there is right now there is no filling of this, it's automatically filling that. You can choose the border color and you can say whether you want to have a solid line and what kind of a color you want for the border. And then uh, I move this, I, I say the border color has to be this red. And then what is the border style you want? There are different styles available. And do you want a shadow, right? For this particular thing, I could say I need a shadow just like this. Okay. Now I click close. You could see the border colors changing. There is a mild shadow appearing over here, right? So this is the way you can build beautiful graphs using Excel. So you could see the information on a text. At the same time, you could see the information on uh, on a graph. And uh, there was one question from one of the audience how to drag and drop uh, the drag. This is called a drag fill. I showed how to do a drag fill of uh, dates. Suppose I have a set of co values like uh, 10, 11, tw 11, 12. I want to do a drag and drop. Same way, just highlight two cells, drag and drop. Automatically, he fills it with continuous numbers. Same way, if I want to say 10, 15, 20, okay, you do that. If you do this, automatically he knows. Excel is very intelligent. So we have increased 10, 15, 20 by 5. The moment you do the drag fill, he automatically increases details by 5. So Excel is uh, very useful in terms of easy data filling, pictorial representation of data in terms of charts, bar chart, or line charts, or different kind of pie charts. Uh, so in this session, we have seen how to do drag filling, how to do charts, changing the types, and changing the colors, etc. With that, we end this session. Thank you.